In this tutorial, I am going to explain decision testing table and how to solve the problems related to the decision table testing in ISTQB examination. Decision tables are made so that you can test various numbers of inputs with respect to the result set. So as you can see I have a table here with list of inputs and multiple cases and the result set for the respective input combinations. This table helps us to test various number of input combination that can be applied and the corresponding result sets. So in that way we are going to cover each decision and that way it will help us to understand the coverage that is possible with the help of this table. Before that we will see what is decision coverage. Decision coverage is the percentage of decision outcomes that have been exercised by a test suite. 100% decision coverage implies 100% statement coverage. Statement can be from your program like this. For example, you have this program read A, read B and C is equal to 1 minus 2 multiplied by B or let's change this to A for simplicity. And within that we have a loop to check if the value of C is less or greater than 0 we have c less than 0 if it is and c is negative and loop is ended here so in order to achieve 100% decision coverage we have to check this condition if this condition is true then this loop will execute if it is false then this loop will end so whenever you are solving problems like this then you have to check by I think uh, executing the program in your mind uh, let's go step by step let's first check first statement read A read B in that you can add value like say A is 20 B is 15 then go to third statement and check C is equal to A minus 2 multiplied by B so A minus 2 be executed later before that the value of b multiplied by 2 will be 30 and a minus 30 will be minus 10 so c is equal to minus 10 which is less than 0 so this alone will execute and gives us 100 percent decision coverage now you can try with another example let's take small value for b so something like 2 and a will be 10 in that you will see 10 minus 4 will be 6 so value of c is 6 then you will see the rest, uh, rest of the loop will not be executed and we are exiting from the program so the path here taken directly to the end of the loop now let's see does it give us 100% coverage no because our loop is not completely executed so whenever the condition c is less than 0 is true then we are giving get, getting the 100% decision coverage so whenever we test such problems we create a table within which we add inputs write our case and respective yes and no answer so no matter what type of example you get in as to keep examination you have to tally this way and check for the answer this is a type of structure based technique uh, which is basically going to help you to understand 
how much decision coverage you have managed so I hope this explanation is helpful to you and I will see you in the next episode for as to be related concepts bye